Hey y'all, CB here at NBS Welding. I got a new ladder. Uh, one of these ones that folds up and can be used in a lot of different ways. I've got to find a place to put it in the shop and I need to hang it on the wall. Let me get this uh, 30 second commercial over with here real quick though, y'all. Uh, we got t-shirts. If, if you could help me out, if you'd like to support the NBS Welding YouTube channel by buying a t-shirt, these t-shirts are $25. You could email Tina at nbswelding at aol.com. If you send Tina an email request for a t-shirt, uh, she'll get with you on your shipping location and let you know what it's going to cost. Also, there's links to our Amazon storefront in the description of our videos and links to our affiliates. If you use those links when you go to Amazon or Art Captain, that helps the channel. Back to working on this bracket. I want to make a bracket to hang this ladder on the wall. And what I've got that I've put some marks on is a... It's actually a piece of aluminum that I bent for a shelf. And the shelf ended up being too long. So I cut this piece off. And it's got a couple bends in it. And we're just going to use it. And uh, that'll make use of something that wasn't any good the way it was. Uh, left over from something else. So I used the Art Captain Cut 55, uh, got the, the couple pieces cut off there, and uh, I'd made one mark uh, on the one bend just to get uh, even legs, because pretty much what I did with that one part is I just made a piece of angle iron out of it, that one bend. And here I'm using my 5-inch sanding pad on a 4-inch backer, that's what I like to use on aluminum, and I use it with uh, beeswax to keep the, uh, keep the pad from getting galled up with aluminum. Then I'm putting this part in my brake, getting a 90 degree bend on it, and then uh, next thing is going to be cutting my little piece of angle iron brace to length, uh, get a mark on it with my permanent marker, and then we'll uh, take it over to the chop saw and get it cut the length i'm going to use uh the De dewalt 872 metal cutting saw 14 inch blade i uh, really like those saws and uh back out with the permanent marker i'm marking where the uh where the welds are going to be so i can get them cleaned up with a stainless steel brush and something i'm doing a little bit different uh, i recently realized that between the power brushing and the burr bit work that I do on my uh, on my aluminum work, I, I end up using a quarter inch drive die grinder or quarter inch shaft die grinder a lot. And I use the cordless and the cordless is a really expensive tool and I have to change the end on it a lot. Uh, and what I decided to do instead of spending the money and getting a whole bunch of cordless ones is i've got i got me three new air powered quarter inch shaft die grinders and that way i can leave burr bits and power brushes on a couple different ones and uh not have to switch them as much and the air tools are a lot cheaper so i got that thing welded up got the brace welded on there and we need to put some holes on this thing and put some holes in it so I can screw it to the wall. I'm going to have two holes that go down the center directly under that brace I put on there. And then I'm going to have two holes that uh, kind of face upward. And the reason I'm doing it this way is I know I can hit a stud on my, uh, on my wall here. What this is is... This is the, the walls in my shop are a fireproof, fireproof plywood that I've done uh, drywall taping mud on. And instead of sanding it smooth, I just took a wet paintbrush and smoothed it out. So when I get up there and look, I can see where the tape is. So I know where the studs are. So I put a couple drywall screws in the center there. And this plywood's thick enough it would hold probably without the stud. And... Uh, I'm putting a couple of drywall screws up through there on each side. 
and uh looks like it's gonna work out real good it's nice to take something that was left over from something else and be able to use it so uh, i want to thank y'all for watching and uh learn to work with what you got that way you always have everything you need